So in psychology, there's this concept called the paradox of choice. Uh, and it was popularized by this guy named Barry Schwartz. He wrote a book, uh, you know, by the same name about it. Uh, and it's really simple to understand. The idea is, well, the example he uses is, let's say you go to the store and you want to just buy like a new pair of jeans. So you go to the store and you talk to whoever's selling you the jeans and you ask, all right, I want some jeans. What do you got? And he'll tell you something like, all right, here's the deal. I got low cut, I got boot cut, I got dim jeans, I got nice and uh, colorful jeans, I got black jeans, blue jeans, brown jeans, you know, really tight jeans, I got all these different choices, got bell bottoms, you know, I don't care, I got it. Uh, and par the paradox of choice is when you actually put people in situations like that, when you give them an information overload, um, they either make bad decisions or they make fine decisions and they get disappointed about the results. So now he, you know, Schwartz was complaining, okay, I just want a normal pair of jeans. I, I don't want to have to think about all these different choices. I just want a pair of jeans. Um, so this, this sort of uh, decision should be pretty familiar to anyone who's been using Linux. Uh, because the thing about Linux is that unlike, you know, Mac OS and unlike Windows, you get a lot of choices with Linux. Uh, you actually get too much sometimes and you have all these different distros to choose from and all these different decisions about the distros like what kind of desktop environment what kind of blah 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 blah, blah. so you just get confused uh, and you're like constantly worrying oh god am I doing the right thing I could be doing this slightly better if I went another if I were on another another distro or something and if that's the case just just shut up about it just don't don't worry about it uh, I mean the, the way Schwartz puts it is uh, you know, if you want to overcome the paradox of choice, all you got to do is realize, okay, I'm not here to do the best thing. I'm just here to get what I need done, done. And that's it. Uh, because when it comes down to it, there is no best choice in Linux distributions. Uh, it's an all, it's all an issue of, am I doing what I need to do? Uh, and if I am, I have no worry, uh, like reason to be worried about it. Okay. So let's say, I mean, let's say you clicked on this because you're like a, you're a beginner and you're like, oh, I want to, and you know, install a distro. I want to know what the right one is. Well, if you already got one installed, it's the right one. Don't worry about it. Just, just run with it. And if you run in it, run into any huge problems that you can't deal with, uh, and you think another distro can help you, well then switch and that's it. Okay. If you haven't installed anything yet, just run with Ubuntu. That's it. Just, that's what everyone else did. That's what I did. That's what... I mean, everyone starts in Ubuntu, and if you don't like the way it looks, get like uh, Ubuntu uh, Ubuntu Mate or like Subuntu or Kubuntu or something, all right? Uh, and don't worry about it, okay? The question you need to ask yourself, I mean, let's say, let's say you're using a distro and you want to know, should I change? Uh, the question is really easy. All you have to do is ask yourself, is there some kind of program or is there something I need to be able to do that I can't do now? And if the answer is no, then stick with what you got. That's it. Um, it. Because the only reason you should be switching is there's something I can't do, so I have to switch. Don't be like, oh, I could be, oh, maybe if I run a Arch, I'll be running at, you know, two seconds faster when I open this program. Or say, don't, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Don't sweat it. I guarantee you uh, any differences there might be uh, are just you know, they're, they're not worth the effort. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, uh, should you change a distro? No, probably not. If you're, you know, in one that satisfies, uh, the other question is, should, uh, you know, well, let's say, let's say you're in your distro, but you don't like the way it looks. Okay. Uh, well, if you're a newbie, um, you should know that distros aren't the way that, you know, distros are not the appearance. The appearance is your desktop environment or your theme. And if you want to change that, look into desktop environments or themes. Don't worry about your distro. If you're on Ubuntu and you hate Unity, which lots of people do, look into other desktop environments. Don't, don't do all this stuff where you're like, oh, well, I got to switch to Fedora or something, you know, anything like that, just because you want a totally different setup. You know, it's Linux. You have the freedom to change what you want. Uh, you don't need to like throw the whole baby out with the bathwater if your distro is doing fine. Because if you're familiar with Ubuntu or you're familiar with, you know, Debian or Mint or whatever, just run with it. It's fine. Um, you know, one of the unfortunate things about this is there's a lot of like social signaling about some distros. I mean, particularly, I, well, the, usually the most common is Arch because, um, you know, Arch or sometimes Gen 2, less people use Gen 2, I think, um, at least less of the signalers. I mean, the thing about, the thing about sort of Arch Linux is because it's difficult to install, 
Uh, well, actually, let me say it's not really difficult to install. You just have to follow some directions. But because it has the veneer of being difficult to install, you know, people, th there's this sort of signaling that you get with it because, oh, you know, you got to go through the effort of installing it. And it, you know, proves that you can at least do this stuff on the command line. And um, I'm, if you want to install Arch because you think it's like an elite distribution, let me just tell you, there are no elite distributions. Any distro of Linux is fine. Okay, don't switch because, you know, you have the idea, oh, I've always been using Ubuntu and now I want to switch to something else, even though Ubuntu is fine, but I feel like I should be moving up in the world. Because I guarantee you there are lots of people who do that and they switch the arch, they have a miserable time, and then they come, you know, come back to Ubuntu and they're like, okay, I should have just done this at the beginning. Um, so l listen, if you're unhappy with your distro, just remember the paradox of choice. Just remember you're suffering from it. You're just worrying about, oh, oh man, am I doing the right thing? And let me tell you what, unless there's something you cannot do in your distro, which I sort of doubt, um, then you shouldn't switch, okay? Now, what distro do I use? Um, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to, you know, shit talk Arch because I, I am an Arch user. Um, and there's nothing, there's nothing amazing about that. It's just Arch gives me a couple advantages that I would have, you know, over other distros. So, you know, actually a couple weeks ago, I got really pissed at Arch and I, um, you know, there's a big update. The thing about Arch is it's a little unstable. Um, so like every couple of updates, something might happen. You know, what happened a couple weeks ago was that Python had this update and it messed up all my configs for a bunch of Python programs. So I had to redo stuff. In fact, actually when it happened, I wasn't even sure what was going on. Um, so I was like, no, I'm gonna switch to a more stable distro so I, you know, tried out Ubuntu again, tried out Debian. Uh, I'd never actually used Debian before, but, you know, I, I sort of like the idea of it. Um, and the thing is, listen, theoretically, you can do anything on any distro. But the reason I use Arch is just because there are some things that are a lot easier to do, like in terms of customizability on Arch, right? So, uh, for example, on Debian, it was really hard getting i3 gaps installed. That's the, the Windows manager I use, which is the pain doing these little things like that. Um, the thing about Arch I like, and the reason a lot of sort of, um, what's the term for it? Power users, I think that's the term. So uh, power users, like some people who want to customize everything, they want to, you know, have everything. Well, really just people like me with like raging computer autism. They have to have everything perfect. Uh, people like that, right? Uh, Arch is a good distro because you, even though you get some instability, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can really easily do. You can use the AUR and get all these different programs that sometimes like immediately mess up or sometimes they're totally incompatible with your other software. Um, but you can at least experiment it, uh, experiment with it. So that's something I like uh, about Arch. And I was really pissed when you know, you know, things will just go wrong sometimes. You'll, I'll have printer problems. I'll have, you know, I'll have to reinstall something every once in a while. But uh, you know, Arch gives me what I want, and other distros, you know, don't necessarily give me what I want. But you're not me. You know, if you're like a normal Linux user. Uh, who is happy with your desktop environment and you don't have to have everything on as you know few uh, key presses as possible, uh, then your distro is fine. So don't don't sweat it. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh yeah, so th there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. It's not I don't see it talked about as much as it should be, um, but you know it's it's something at least important to me uh, and it should be important to you. And that's the idea of moving towards a distro that's totally free software. Um, so, you know, everyone knows the FSF is out there, the, the Free Software Foundation, uh, and they're total zealots, everyone knows. Uh, but sometimes zealots have a point, like they are a little embarrassing sometimes. Uh, and I think pretty much everyone who's in Linux for, uh, not that, well, let's put it this way. There's some people who are in Linux for the, you know, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm a cool nerd and I use a cool, you know, operating system. Ignoring those people, most people in Linux want a customizable and free, uh, you know, operating system that, you know, you don't have to deal with spyware, you don't have to deal with proprietary software, you don't have to deal with any of that junk, and it develops, you know, in, you know, sort of emergently, you know, this the cathedral versus the bazaar kind of, kind of thing. Um, and for people like that, using all free software is a pretty important thing. So I, I say that I use Arch. Um, I, most of my machines actually have Parabola. Parabola is the, is the Libra uh, equivalent of Arch.
basically all the same. You install it the same way. Actually, the installation's easier. You can use this um, sort of shortcut install. Um, but uh, yeah, so they use the Le uh, Linux Libre kernel, which doesn't have any uh, proprietary firmware. Um, and they don't have any proprietary stuff in their um, repositories. So there are some things I can't get in that. Uh, you know, oh, for example, they don't have CalSay. I don't know why. Is that proprietary? I don't even know why they don't have that. But that's a little thing. But you get the point. There are some things you can't do or you can't do easily. Um, but I, I, I am a firm believer that if you can use one of the uh, FSF approved distributions on your machine, you should try and use it. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say you should try. You should use it. Um, now, it might not run on your laptop. You, usually the problem is they're not always compatible with Wi-Fi uh, devices just because, you know, nearly all of them are proprietary. You have to get one of those uh, Etheros. Is that how you pronounce it? Etheros? Whatever it is. Um, you have to get one of those um, uh, uh, Wi-Fi cards, usually. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't work with your BIOS. Yep, blah, blah, blah. But um, so right now I have, although my desktop now runs Arch, uh, on this machine I'm recording on right now, my little, uh, my X200 ThinkPad, uh, I got this thing Libre booted, I got uh, Parabola, so it's 100% free software. Um, and I'll just say, if you want to narrow down your choices, if you want to avoid the paradox of choice, go to the FSF's website and check out their distros and see which ones work for you. And if one of them, like if uh, Triskwell or whatever works well for you, just run with that. Because if you can use one of those distributions, meaning if you have you know, a Wi-Fi device that's compatible effectively, uh, I think you should. I think even if it is sort of this uh, extremist, I mean, it's not even extremist. You know, We only call it extremist because sometimes it's hard. But if you can do it, you should. There's no reason not. So, you know, don't install Ubuntu, install Triskwell. Uh, if Triskwell doesn't work, there's nothing wrong. I mean, you know, I'm sure the people at FSF might be pissed, but I don't think there's anything wrong with using uh, a distro like Ubuntu that's not 100% free. Because the way I look at it is, you know, if people are using 80% free software rather than 100%, that's much better than people using Mac OS uh, or something like that. Um, so, you know, one of the reasons people are so pissed at the FSF is just that it's so dogmatic about this and it doesn't want to accommodate, uh, it doesn't even want to make it easier. I'll just say they could make it a lot easier for them and get their, the, their word out better if they just gave you an option, you know, just a hidden away option to install proprietary, uh, you know, drivers for, you know, whatever, uh, Wi-Fi cards people have. But anyway, that's, that's just my view on it. Uh, so I think you should use one of those if you can. If you can't, just use whatever. All distros don't matter. Uh, just use, or uh, all distros are all the same. Don't worry about it unless you specifically run into something you can't do. So just don't sweat it. Just don't worry about it. That shouldn't be an issue. Uh, so anyway, that's about it. So I'll, uh, I'll see you around.